welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. Normally I am fi filming my empties like a month ahead and I guess this will have solved the problem. I won't have to do that anymore. Um, I lost the footage. I had it filmed, um, ready to go and I don't know. I looked in my trash can on my computer and it is gone. So either way, I have tons of empties. I'm actually for once filming July's empties in July. Um, other than it would be too messy, um, tonight I'm kind of having like an alone 24 hours. Um, I just got back from Minnesota where I had my daughter and I uh, were by ourselves visiting my best friend from college. And so we got home and my husband took her down to San Diego to see his parents. So I have 24 hours to myself. So I treated myself to some Ben and Jerry's. Um, so if it wasn't so messy, I think I should have brought the empty in here because it is to die for. It was a small container. I got it at Target. It was glamp fire, like campfire, but you know, glamping. Oh my gosh, chocolate ice cream, uh, marshmallow swirl just all through. Um, it tasted so different than the description. Because, but it's so good and it, it had basically what was it chocolate ice cream I think chocolate swirl uh, pretzels and then chocolate covered almonds but the way it was done oh my gosh I feel like that's my favorite ice cream on this planet um, it was not like big chunks of almond it was salty um, and the almonds were kind of sprinkled throughout and it wasn't just chocolate swirl it was almost like that hard kind of crunchy chocolate I don't think I'm doing it justice it tasted so amazing so that's kind of my unofficial empty. Um, so I also have some book reviews. So three book reviews. I'm going to count that as my, it, 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 ooh, I can't talk, empties. Um, so anyway, let's dive right in. One of them, and I think it's the only one that's food related besides my ice cream. Um, this is Kodiak Cakes. This is coming more and more um, everywhere. Um, Walmart, Target today had it. Um, this is our favorite. So this is the dark chocolate. And I'm not sure whether there's chocolate chips in here or not, but I like these. Now, if you're wanting, if you're in for super sweet, 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 probably not. But I like this because it's protein. Uh, it's whole grains. There's 14 grams of protein per half cup. This also kind of, in a way, tricks my daughter. She thinks we're having chocolate waffles, which we are, but they're a healthier chocolate waffle. Um, we accidentally bought the chocolate chip once. I didn't think they were as good, and it was just kind of like regular vanilla batter with chocolate chips. Um, I almost feel like uh, our Walmart has different kinds than I saw tonight at Target, but I highly recommend these if you like a waffle for breakfast but kind of want it to be healthier. Um, really, really like that. And again, it's a score that my daughter thinks it's a treat, but it's really protein-filled waffles. All right, as usual, it wouldn't be an empty for mine if I didn't have Batiste. Love this. Um, for me, the best place to buy it, the cheapest place to buy it is TJ Maxx. When they have it, it's a huge container for $8.99. Um, this is the one I usually get at Walmart. It's 10 ounces for, I think, like $9. So again, TJ Maxx, for me anyway, is the place to go when you want that cheap. So this is a really bummer and it's not an empty and I think I may bring it home. I'm going to Indiana here um, in a little bit and maybe my cousin will like it. I have it on my lips right now and it probably looks fine. Um, maybe even better than fine. It is such an ordeal. I had, I would say, I should, should go look in the trash can. Um, Countless pieces of toilet paper, I would say at least four to six Q-tips trying to get this situated. So this was Fenty Beauty. I just got it in my um, Ipsy. It's supposed to be a lip paint. Maybe if you are a guru at putting lipstick on, I it just gets everywhere. So it kind of really is like a paint. It is very liquidy. Um, what, one, one little um, thing of this is way more than enough. I think you could paint like three people's lips with the amount of product that comes out and it just gets everywhere. And so I had to basically keep like going around and around to get it out. The other day when I was trying to wear it, anytime I would kind of like, you know, put your lips together like you do to rub them together, I would get like a line below. It's supposed to last 12 hours. Um, that day it didn't even last three hours. 
So sadly, um, this is a I basically just throw it away because I don't have time and I don't want to waste that many Q-tips and papers trying to get this to like be where it should. I guess I should have checked my teeth because the first time I did it for the Ipsy video, I had it all over my teeth. So I probably will bring that home and see if my cousin wants to try it. But Lord of mercy, it is too high maintenance for me. I don't have time to try to like get it where it needs to be. All right, so this is one of my husband and I's favorite products. And sadly, I went to two Walmarts trying to find it and I finally had to order it online. This is a scalp scrub. It's a dupe for Briogeo. It actually says that on the packaging. Um, it has charcoal, tea tree, and this is actually an, it's an exfoliating and detoxifying shampoo. So it's not quite as scrubby as a scrub, which I love. So this is like, I will be really sad if Walmart ever stops carrying it. And the fact that I went to two Walmarts kind of makes me uh, worry that Walmart is not gonna carry it anymore. It's just like $6 and change. Um, my husband now uses it for his daily shampoo. I kind of feel like maybe I should try to convince him not to use it for his daily. Um, but I love this. I use this once or twice a month um, to, and it just takes out all of like, you know, the extra buildup, and, but it's so lovely. Um, I just love this. It leaves my hair so nice. Oh, I'm really hoping they don't get rid of it. I think the Briogeo is like 40 to $50. I've never tried that. I love this. I mean, if you're into scalp scrubs, I would try this. And I like that it's kind of uh, in between. I would show you two, but there's not. So I bought two of these on walmart.com and I am like hoping they don't go out. I would have bought more if I would have thought, I don't know whether shampoo lasts forever or not. Anyway, I love Patchology face masks, sheet masks. Um, Patchology, I think if you go to their website, they're like four to five dollars a piece. I got this in a, in a bag. Maybe they're only two or three dollars. But either way, a lot of these kind of like face mask companies, it seems like they want you to spend quite a bit before they get free shipping. And I guess I just don't have time for that. I really liked this. This was super nice. I know the last time I went to Patchology's website to kind of check it out, they had a lot of mystery boxes that I had considered. But then of course you're not assured of getting that. Next up, absolutely love Dr. Botanicals. I have not gotten a Dr. Botanicals I don't love. Now, I am very bad about not reading the packaging. So this is a rescue butter. Maybe that should have been my first clue that it was a lotion. Uh, all of the Dr. Botanicals I have gotten in the past were a face cream. So I kept putting it on my face in the beginning and I was not excited. It wasn't bad, but it was not, I was not exciting. And I was so bummed because I've gotten, I would say three or four different types of Dr. Botanicals, love them. And they're like 1650 and they last a long time. So I think it, I really love them. And so then I thought maybe I should look at this cause there has to be a reason I don't like it. Cause it's for dry elbows and dry heels. So I'm trying to slather that on my face. So once I started using it as a foot cream, I loved it even more. Now, I wouldn't necessarily pay $16.50 for a foot cream, um, especially that it's only uh, 1.6 ounces. But when it comes to their face creams, definitely I would spend that money. I, really, I love Dr. Botanicals, have had no issues with them. All right, I think this was a scrub I got. I think I got it on my last Farrah box. Now, this had the weirdest smell, and I hate the packaging. So it was a very lovely scrub, loved it. Um, I love a scrub that's scrubby yet moisturizing. This did the job. As you can see, there is still some in here. I would have to cut this open to get it out. I'm not sure why they decided to put a thick scrub in a pretty hard plastic bottle. It was hard to get out even when it was brand new. Like, I mean, you're like getting some workout in in the shower trying to get this stuff out. But I loved it. So this is uh, Ginger Honey, I think, Organic Skin Care Exfoliate Hydrate Bubbles Plus Honey Sugar Scrub. 
handmade, heart made, homemade. So anyway, I love it. They need different packaging though. And the smell was interesting. If you've ever been, I think it was England, was it England or Scotland? Uh, where mead was a thing. Oh, they were giving samples out on one of our castle tours. This smelled like mead. And I think mead is kind of like fermented honey. So I don't know. It wasn't like it wasn't a deal breaker for me, but it was a very interesting. It smelled like alcoholic honey the entire every use I used. All right. So this guy um, is very well loved. Probably used it for way longer than I should have. It clearly looks terrible. Uh, it's a green cast because I, I use a green uh, clay mask. But I just ordered a new one um, off Amazon and they're five dollars. And I originally had gotten this in a subscription box and I was just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Yuck. Why would I want this? Because it looks like you're supposed to put a like bar of soap in there. And I'm just like, why would I do that? So this is a daily concept. Did I say dual concepts earlier? Daily concepts, your facial mini scrubber with um, smart technology. It says it's mild. I don't know. I'm not sure mild would be the right thing. Um... But it does have a very, very scrubby side. And then it has a soft side. Now it clearly, when brand new, it looks way better than this. This is probably six to eight months old, probably full of germs, but I didn't suffer from, for it. So anyway, I just bought a brand new one. When I put my clay mask on, it dries. The scrubby side is so nice at getting that off. I feel like it helps kind of buff off all of the dead skin cells. So I will keep buying these. I really was happy with them. Um, and I would totally buy them again. It's $5 for me. It lasts a long, long time. Probably shouldn't. Probably should have put it in the washing machine. It never occurred to me to put it in the washing machine. All right. There for a little bit, I was getting ton of eye masks. This is, what is this? Skin Camp Magic Eyes Collagen Hydra Gel. Hyaluron, oh, I can't talk. Hyaluronic Acid Collagen Amino Acids and Caffeine. So a star studded ingredient list. These were like star shaped that then swooped out and almost like a, I don't know, a rainbow kind of a thing. So I think the shape, I wasn't so a fan of the shape because it's like a little star and then a swoosh, kind of like, I guess a shooting star. So uh, most eye patches have a bigger area. So I don't know. I felt like the kitschy shape. Um, Oh, and you can see the shape. The shape is like, I don't know whether it's focusing that much, but the little, the little dark pink things are the actual shape of it. This was fine. Happy to get it. I have a few more. I will totally use them. Um, I like the ingredient list, but I wish they were bigger. Maybe I don't even need bigger ones, but just because the swish was so thin, I kind of like felt like it wasn't doing its best or something. All right. So this isn't not quite an empty because it's still in my shower. But this is the Tokyo Milk. The packaging is just beyond gorgeous. It's too bad you couldn't use that dragonfly for something. But this is their bar of soap. It is the biggest bar of soap I've ever seen. It is such a beautiful fragrance. I think these bars of soap would last, I mean, it, it will last forever. Um, so love that. That was from my, um, now I can't think of it. Uh, Margo Elena box. All right, I was very disappointed in these. Um, and I'm not sure what kind of press on I've got before. I thought it was impress. Um, these were short length. Some of them were crazy long. Um, and so, you know, my fingers don't keep these very well anyway. Um, especially this middle finger is kind of a wonky shape. I have heard people that say that they use a nail glue after, like when one comes off. So I will say that if you have bigger hands, like my thumb and middle finger are, um, have pretty big nails. They don't have many options if you have big nails. So I put these on for our 4th of July event, uh, let's say two o'clock. We get there at five o'clock. Uh, by six o'clock, my big nail has come off and I didn't, I, I don't know. And so I'm really bad about when one comes off, I just start picking them off. I just feel like it looks terrible. If you have one nail not done, it didn't occur to me to bring these with me. Um, I've had press-ons before. 
You've heard me talk about them on my channel. I like them for the fact that they save me like $40 getting my nails done. And I'm a person anyway when I get my nails done, I don't like to have the nail polish or the whatever on for weeks and weeks. So, but normally I get two days worth. I get about 48 hours worth of use. I've never had one come off within hours. Um, and so I'm a little bummed. Um, so I don't know why that it came off so soon. And in the past, it sometimes has been because I'm actually doing laundry and things, and those things do not last for actually doing things. But that day, I wasn't doing anything. So anyway, again, it keeps me from getting my nails done at the salon as far as real, like, fake nails, because that just ruins your nails. All right, so this is a Grace and Stella foam. Um, I have found my Perlice, um four-in-one milk cleanser that I just love. So this sort of went to my daughter and my husband, which sounds ridiculous because this is a very nice face wash getting used by my husband and my daughter, which I guess shouldn't matter other than my daughter is six. Um, but it's so, it's very lovely. And I used to be a big foam cleanser, but now I really just like the kind of cream cleanser, the Perlice. Uh, it's got great ingredients. So lovely product. I've liked everything I've gotten from Grace and Stella. Um, I have their mud mask. I've had their hyaluronic serum. Excuse me. So love it, but I have a cleanser that I use. So I don't really like getting cleansers because I just don't use them because I have the one I love. All right. So here's another one of those unsexy ones. Flaxseed oil. I highly recommend. It's It's been good for my hair, my nails. It keeps you regular. Um, it is good. That's good for your heart health. I didn't start taking it for that. Um, but I, I like this. This has been um, a supplement I take every day. I, I for years now at this point. I don't know, three or four years. So I like it. Anyway. All right. So this is an Elemis. This is my very first element Elemis. The packaging is really pretty, except for you can see that it gets super dingy. Um, this is an eye cream. I absolutely adore this eye cream. Um, I kind of like things that are in like a smaller tube, but not that this is eye cream. So this, I don't have anywhere good to sit this on my counter. It was also sort of, sort of labor intensive. I think I threw it out, but it had like a, it had a seal thing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So it was kind of labor intensive. You had to unscrew it. You had to pick this thing off. It was kind of a yellow um, product. Um, it's a pro collagen eye uh, revive mask. I believe it's like a $60 value. But I really, really liked this eye cream. Loved it. Um, I, you know, I would if I saw this in a sale, I would pick it up in a heartbeat. Um, but the packaging was so difficult. I wish they would just put it in a squeezy tube so you could get a little dollop and move on. Um, I get lots of eye cream in my boxes, so I, I would not probably repurchase this only because it's $60. I would be, I would be over the moon to pay 20 for it. I loved it. Super good. I really did like it, but I don't know if I, for not for $60 for coming out of my own money, but I really did like it. All right, this is one that you have seen many times because I've bought it three, at least three times from Ipsy. Ipsy sells this on the regular for $18. I got this the first time in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This is the 1-1 one, one Skin um, Cryo TP or ATP Sports Booster. As I've said before, what a dumb name. Like, I don't understand what that's supposed to do. I would not put this on before I play sports. I wouldn't play, put it on after I played sports, so I'm not quite sure what the sports booster has to do with this. This retails for $135. Absolutely would not pay $135. But I like this. It just feels so good on my skin. I usually start my day in the morning with a clear serum. I do my little face massager, and then I go on to whatever I'm doing next. So this lasts about a month if you're using it every day. That would be crazy to spend $135. Um, I almost bought it again. Ipsy had it this last time as an add-on for $18, but I had just gotten another 1-1 skin in my Ipsy. So love it. We'll totally rebuy it in the future when Ipsy has it for 18 
totally worth 18 to me, not worth 135. All right, so this, when I saw this beside my scalp scrub, I thought, oh, I have to try it. It was another $6. I bought the shampoo and the conditioner again. It's supposed to be a dupe for Briogeo. Terrible. Well, now wait. This is a conditioner, not terrible, but not great. So the con the shampoo I thought was terrible. That was in one of my other empties or it, um, it empties because I just couldn't even hack it. I had to get rid of it. Um, this is okay. So I'm a person that needs lots of conditioner. My hair is dry, so all kind of layer conditioners. Um, I would use this kind of an extra layer, so it's hard for me to even say. I did try it by my by itself at first. It did nothing. My hair came out like straw. Um, I do think it came out smoother if it can even be str smooth straw. Um, but this was an absolute dis disappointment considering how much I love the scrub. Um, so this is the dupe for the Briogeo Kale and Apple. So I don't know whether it's the apple. I don't know. But I felt like it was... Um, it did smooth when I added it to other conditioners. But by itself, my hair was not conditioned enough. But this side of my hair is super, super dry. Um, so if you had normal hair, it may be wonderful. But because half of my hair is like beyond dry, it was not good enough. Here is a love, 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 uh, holy grail, changed my world. And I, as I say this, I really should just pull the trigger and go buy some more. Um, I just got the Numa in my Luxly the month before, I think it was June. And this is the Renew Condition. I still have the shampoo. Together, this shampoo and conditioner just was a game changer. My hair is so smooth. You think I had it flat ironed. And I've been wanting there to be a sale because to get the 10 ounce bottles um, of each shampoo and conditioner is $60. And that hurts, especially because of the conditioner. I will use so much conditioner. I have such thick hair um, that it takes a, a lot um, to even just cover all of my hair. So I would go through that $30 bottle fairly quick. Um... But I am going to eventually pull the trigger because I love it. It's a game changer. All right. So I seem to be plagued here lately by these containers that on the onset, you think it's a really cute, good idea. Um, I got this in my uh, Boxy Mama and for the Mother's Day box. I didn't mind the serum. I would not, re not necessarily repurchase this. I almost felt like it was tingly or something. This is the Nerea Defend Skin Restoring Serum. Carrot seed oil. But this has a really cute thing. And then theoretically, it's supposed to be squeezy. This is like my third bottle in the last few months where it has this really cute kitschy thing where it's supposed to be like an eyedropper. I don't know whether it's me and I simply don't squeeze it correctly. But I could get tiny, teeny, tiny amounts. I had to eventually sit here and shake it really hard, but it would splurt everywhere. There's still quite a bit of product in here. I was done fighting with it. Um, I just got one of this beautiful bottle of purple face stuff in my Ipsy last month. It's the same way. I can't get any of it out and I'm sitting here like shaking it as hard as possible. I'm like, I don't have time for that. So this was nice enough. But golly, I just want the product to come out. Um, one of my favorite hair masks, the Foxy Bay. Love these. These are eight packets, I believe. Eight packets for $28. Um, love. Love. Um, it says, don't hate, hydrate, replenishing hair mask. Now, this barely coats my hair. It's the very perfect amount for me, but if you have longer hair than me, one packet would not be enough. Well, this is definitely not an empty. I'm not sure why my uh, plug is in here. Um, all right, so I get these. I had gotten this at Christmas time at Costco. Um, this is the Dionis, the goat milk um, moisture or shampoo. 
This scent was terrible. This was just plain goat milk scent. Or no, uh, milk and honey. I don't know. It almost smelled like baby formula. Um, I keep one of these in my purse. They last a really long time. I love all the other scents. This one, I just, I mean, it faded quickly, which was fine. So I used it, but ew. the first couple, you know, minutes or so, it just smelled like baby formula, which I don't necessarily like. All right. I am sure this is a fabulous face wash. This is the Murad um, Environmental Shield Essential, like C, it has vitamin C. Um, I think maybe this is geared towards oilier skin. I don't know. Like, it wasn't bad. You can still see there's some in here. I just don't want it. I like my cleanser I have, my pearlies. Um, I like more of a kind of moisturizing, I guess. <sighs> this wasn't bad. I also felt like it was kind of tingly. Um, if you like squeaky, squeaky clean, this is for you. I love Murad products. This one, I just don't think gels with my skin type. I had gotten this a long time ago, probably a year ago in a Therabox. I'm not even sure the brand. I, is that little W thing at the top the brand? So this was a massage oil that was supposed to be kind of like relax your muscles after working out. Loved it. Um, we used it on our legs. My husband and I, when we would give massages to each other, uh, again, lasted forever. It had uh, peppermint and German chamomile. Loved it. Would be happy to get it again. All right, so this is a, um, sadly, I'm getting rid of it because it's not the right color, but I was trying brow gel, and this was like 86 cents, $2, 80, and I don't, it was really cheap. It was less than $3. I can't remember whether, I think probably $2.89 or something. This is the Wet and Wow, Wet and Wild Brow Sessive uh, Brow Shaping Gel. I had just gotten brown. Um, this was awesome. I put this on. It coated well. It cleaned up well. I went on a hike. I was sweating. This is awesome. Bulletproof. I just bought the wrong color. So, really nice. So, when I'm not getting a bunch of sunscreens in a subscription box, this is my go-to. I just went to buy it at Target today. They didn't have it. It made me sad. So this is the Morning Facial Moisturizing Lotion. Oh, they do have it. They changed the packaging. So this is what I bought. Okay, so I just went to Target today. So this is uh, compared to CeraVe, it's SPF 30. Oh, they changed the packaging. Hmm, interesting. So this is like the generic version. Um, now it's, it's not a pump, which I like the pump. Now it's a, you open the cap and there's like a hole and you squeeze it out. Um, I thought they were out. So, I need lots of sunscreen because I live in California. I am full of sunspots or freckles. Uh, you know, when I was in Indiana, they'd come in the summer, they'd go away in the winter. Now that I live in California, they just stay. I've also gotten to where regular sunscreen just feels sticky and tacky and like my skin can't breathe but I still need sunscreen. So if I'm at the beach, I can handle that, or the pool, I can handle the sticky tacky kind of stuff. So I, crazily enough, use this on my arms, my neck, uh, my chest, because I just can't have that sticky tacky feeling. Um, interesting, I did buy the right thing, but they changed the packaging. I like the pump, I think. I almost feel like you're gonna use more the other way. So I'm kinda of wondering if Walmart has something like this and maybe the packaging's not different. But I really like it. I would recommend using the dupes. Like if you're like at the new... All right, this was so long of a video that I think I'm going into the next set on my camera. So I have three more of these plus the books. So I had recently bought an eyeshadow um, in my birthday month at Sephora and you got samples. These were very nice samples. These are Laneige or Laneige, I don't know, Water Bank Moisture Cream and the Water Sleeping Mask. I feel like, especially since they're water-based, that maybe these are geared towards oily skin. I really thought they were just dandy. Very nice, happy to have them. If I got them again, I would be happy. I don't know if for me they were moisturizing enough. 
they they soaked soaked in soaked up really really well i feel like they were geared towards oily skin i would have liked a little more so i felt like after these soaked in i could keep going with other facial oils and then i have a perfume um it's called inkling scents this was forest whisper they have little plants in there um i actually got a compliment on this scent i personally don't necessarily like the rollerball i know some people do my only complaint and i because i could have lived with the rollerball is it hurt like i would put it on my neck and it was kind of a scratchy rollerball but anyway i love the scent it was just kind of subtle oh very nice all right, let's talk about some books. So I get the best books from my friend Catherine um, at my birthday. She has, I don't know where she finds them, this. Um, I highly, highly recommend. So The Giver of Stars. Um, this is a fiction, but it's kind of surrounded by, um, now I'm going to forget the name of it, um, in like, I think it was like the 30s and early 40s there in Kentucky there were women on a mobile library that delivered books on horseback and so this takes that truth and then puts a fictional story to it it is so good it is about this woman um, from England who moves to Kentucky and then she, she joins the library I mean I love this book I could not stop putting it down it has a little bit of everything, you know, kind of women being independent, um, a, a little slight romance, but just, I don't know. This could be a movie. It paints the world so beautifully. Um, I love historical things. Um, this was just, I can't recommend it enough. I'm not sure I'm doing it justice. So this was the other book she bought me. It was a good book, but this is a sad book sort of depressing book even if it ends on kind of a high note it's just sad so if you're in a bad spot i wouldn't recommend it it also paints the um picture really well um it's in england 1940 um this girl basically gets very mistreated in the orphanage and then it kind of goes into her being an adult and the war and all of that so world war ii not that any war is not sad but world war ii especially seems you know extra sad the orphanage store is extra sad. It's a good story, but you don't walk away feeling uplifted. It was sad. This, you feel, I mean, I don't know if you feel uplifted, but you're happy. It's a wonderful story. This, you feel a little bit sad when you're done. I think it's, you're better for it. I think it's always good to remember the struggles. Um, like she, when she was in the orphanage, it makes you, you know, feel more thankful for your life. I feel like it's always good to revisit stories of like World War II so we can be thankful for where we are, how, how awesome we have it. Um, but boy, it's sad <laughs> uh, and just kind of depressing. And then my husband had gotten this, I think as part of my Mother's Day, I don't know. Uh, Shadow and Bone is a series on Netflix based on books. And so... I have now read all three books in the series. I bought the other two on Kindle. Um, this is the first book that goes with the Shadow and Bone on Netflix. It is almost identical. Um, now I will say Netflix added quite a few characters because in this book you see it through, is it Elena? Oh, uh, why can't I remember things? Elena, I think it's like Elena is the main character. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, you only see it through her eyes. So in the book, there's only, I mean, a very few characters, really, as far as main characters. So Netflix really elaborated it. I find it going to be, I wonder how they're going to do uh, season two and three because they added so many characters. So if you've seen Shadow and Bone on Netflix, I don't think you need to read this. It is so, so similar. Only a couple nuances. I was doing a lot of skimming because it was like so identical. But I really liked book two and book three. Really good. It's like Siege and Storm and then The Run and Rising. This is kind of probably more geared towards the high school audience. But I don't mind those books. Um, so I really liked it. Um, if you haven't seen the show, then I would read the book. But if you've seen the show, you can skip to book two and you would be uh, totally fine. Because this is literally 
identical except for the added characters they have in the book. Anyway, or the show. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you guys are all having an awesome day wherever you guys are. Bye.